problem uh, today we are going to start the endocrine uh, module so in which we also it's mixed type of we also discuss is somewhat anatomy and somewhat physiology it's going to be introduction of your endocrine system so before i start uh, can anybody tell me the what what does mean by endocrine ductless <coughs> ductless and the exocrine are having done so the the exocrine and endocrine so these tech which uh, the uh, the system which we are discussing so the har- they release hormone so there is a gland which secrete the hormone so they into the blood. so they enter into the blood and go to the target because they in the exocrine so their target is closer so they can reach uh, by the duct but in the endocrine they release hormone the target is away so for example hypothalamus hormones the pituitary hormone they have to reach the for example in the have to control the gonads so they cannot send a duct here so they need a, a blood stream which is easier pathway so but the hormone is not uh, specific the specificity is defined by your receptor so because they are going in the blood blood stream but when they reach that target if they find their receptor they perform their job so so endocrine system so study of the endocrine is called endocrinology so and the their secretion is the the uh, is the hormone so that is the by the ductless going into the blood stream and they can act on the cell in the uh, on the distant target cell so their target cell are wider so your endocrine system is a regulatory system so after the brain it's very important so because we have two the two main system are majorly controlling our body function so one is our brain which is on the higher uh, higher brain function and the on the lower margin is your endocrine so uh, the they are acting parallel but the difference is that the your uh, the function of your endocrine they are long term regulation while on the other aspect if you look at the nervous system their regulation are for the short term so the secretion of the endocrine is what hormone and the secretion of your uh, the nervous system is what nerves neurotransmitter so nerve nerve axon so on the, this side the nerve and axon on this side gland and hormone so if you look at their action the nervous system is very fast action very rapid but endocrine are slower one so nature of the message is by the electrical impulses where, where the nerves while on this side the chemical message by the hormones so if you look at the duration this is within second millisecond so this is for long lasting if we want a function regulate our blood blood pressure or any function so they are for long term regulation area of response often confined to one area of body response is localized but it's wide separate for example growth hormone act throughout the body and if you look at example the reflexes and in this condition growth is example here so here you will find the so just uh, introduce to in the heart, the major glands and some organs which also Uh, acting like a endocrine so starting from your higher in the brain level so hypothalamus hypothalamus is a very complicated type of topic so because you know when we discuss the homeostasis we discuss hypothalamus when we discuss endocrine we discuss the hypothalamus when we discuss the nervous system we also discuss the hypothalamus so in this module we actually our concern with the endocrine part of the hypothalamus so because they secrete the hormone the hormone secreted by hypothalamus are what the in the the hormone which are coming from the hypothalamus are the posterior pituitary hormone are actually synthesized in the hypothalamus and they get stored, in, stored in the posterior pituitary yes. so in the anterior pituitary because we have anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary so the anterior pituitary is a true gland while the posterior pituitary is a part of the it's neuro neuro type because it's extension of your hypothalamus so synthesis in the hypothalamus stored in the posterior pituitary while in case of the uh, the anterior pituitary their synthesis occur in the 
in that part. That's why we named the ad adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis posterior pituitary because neuro related neuron hypophysis for pituitary. Posterior pituitary neurohypophysis, interior pituitary is name is the adenohypophysis. Adeno means gland, glandular type cells. So for the, the, the hormone we uh, to memorize their name is the flat PG. So FSH, LH, ACTH and prolactin P and G is growth hormone. So and for the while in the posterior pituitary you will find two hormones. One is the oxytocin and the other is the ADH. ADH is uh, water, both regulation. water regulation and oxytocin is the milk uh, ejection and you are uh, the in the uh, uterus. in the uterus their function. So we will discuss in the later just uh, look at look at the hormones. Uh, here is your thyroid gland. So thyroid gland it has two uh, the follicular cell as well as the parafollicular cell. Follicular cell secrete the T3 and T4. Their function is the maintain your the basal metabolic rate. What do you mean by the basal metabolic rate? जब सोए होते हैं तो एक रेट कंट्रोल करता है ताकि बॉडी गर्म रहे। So actually it's a basic need when there is no function at least. So uh, we need the ATP. Our because our seventy percent energy is utilized by our ATP pumps. So we need energy. Either we have no activity. If we do exercise, we need more energy. So the energy, the the heat production and the energy utilized in the normal condition is the basal metabolic rate. So this T3, T4 increase the basal metabolic rate or decrease the metabolic. So they are actually maintaining, regulating the your basal metabolic. And the other is the calcitonin. So calcitonin in, in the thyroid on the posterior aspect is your parathyroid hormone. So parathyroid hormone, parathormone and your calcitonin, they are the antagonists. One increase the calcium, one decrease the calcium. Likewise, your insulin, one increase the glucose, one decrease the glucose. Easier way to remember which one is lower, uh, decreasing the calcium, which one decreasing the glucose. Follow the your calcitonin. In the calcitonin, you find the uh, the capital uh, the uh, the letter L. Mean what lower? So it lower your calcium in the blood. In same like in the insulin, you find the letter L, mean lower the glucose in the blood. So they are both calcitonin decrease the calcium in the blood, insulin decrease the glucose in the blood. If you look at the other side, glucagon increase the glucose, parathormone increase the calcium. So T3 and T4, T3 is the more potent form and while the T4 is the less form, but the 90% or 97 percent we can say is the T, T4 form is present because and then uh, they are converted into T3 to perform this so there is a uh, enzyme which convert DIO DNAs which convert the T4 into T3 to perform their job so that enzyme is present actually in the the peripheral tissue where they have to perform their job so but just remember T3 is the more potent T4 is the less potent if you look T3 at that, is in free form, huh? yes. So the actually when you discuss the regulation, the active uh, so function. So actually when we see a negative feedback or positive feedback, everything regulation is related to your the free hormone, and action is regulated by free hormone. So bound hormone is just a storage. So. And if you have a peptide are stored and also uh, then they secrete. But steroid hormone, they are synthesized and secreted. So they are not stored. So we cannot regulate the steroid. Steroid are synthesized and they perform their job. So the regulation is mainly associated with your peptide type of hormone. We have to discuss it. So if you look at the, the adrenal, adrenal or suprarenal, renal used for the kidney superior to the kidney is the suprarenal gland. It is actually, uh, we see it's a single 
Karun, but it's two different because their origin is embryological origin is different. Both are, one is a medulla, one is a cortex. They both are different. One is a mesoderm origin, while on the other a second. So this medulla is uh, is directly associated with your hypothalamus. So the connection it is an, a directly associated with your the sympathetic and parasympathetic activity. So they are not uh, controlled by your ACTH. They are directly controlled by the hypothalamus. If you look at the cortex, cortex actually we have three layers we have to discuss later. Just see the location of the gland. So here is the your gland. So and if you look parathyroid hormone which is on the posterior margin and the pineal gland, melatonin. So actually melatonin is, uh, is uh, the associated with your the rhythmic circadian rhythmic cycle for example uh, which we follow in 24 hours for example sleep and awake. So melatonin just remember the word M. So M moon meaning its, in, its level is high in the night time. So the melatonin level is high in the night time when we sleep. If you give someone by exogenously the melatonin, so they go into the sleep in the next few minutes, inshallah. So the other, uh, the your testes and the ovaries. So if you see here, so the so the uh, the ovaries and the gonads. So uh, testes and ovaries. So the testes are androgen hormones. Is basically testosterone. First the secreted is the testosterone, then they converted into the estrogen or progesterone. So for becoming a female, so first they have to cross the male hormone. Then they form the female hormone. So first testosterone synthesis occurs, then they convert into the, the female hormone that is the estrogen. So and if you look at the pancreatic eyelid cell, so you can uh, say it's a 98% is the endocrine which is associated with your GAT which is secrete the hormone into the your GAT different hormone I am not discussing so we are discussing the exocrine part so their exocrine part uh, cells are the eyelid cell only 2% only 2% and uh, from this 2% of 60% mean uh, more than 1% we can say are the beta cell which secrete the insulin and the alpha cell secrete the glucagon and you can uh, imagine this one percent importance of this one percent if this is disturbed diabetes different center are open for this one percent insulin so you which is regulating throughout the, your body the glucose mechanism so the diabetes type 1 and type 2 which are associated with your insulin so if you look at it, only 1% of this, this null whole body, so this part, only 1% is your insulin which is controlling your glucose mechanism. So actually there are uh, four cells, alpha cell, beta cell, delta cell and the F cell. So alpha cell sec secrete the glucagon, beta cell secrete the insulin and the delta secretes somatostatin. Somatostatin is the universal inhibitor. It's secreted whether in the your GAT, uh, in the your gut level, or in the endocrine. So they are universal inhibitors. So they inhibit actually the glucagon and the function. So they are actually inhibitor. And the other are the polypeptide, the F cell which secrete the polypeptide. And your heart, heart is also an endocrine nature. So they secrete the ANP and BNP. So here is mentioned the ANP and the BNP. So your heart, your heart is also a secrete the hormone. So they are endocrine ANP and the BNP. So what is ANP? What is BNP? Atrial natriuretic peptide and the B type natriuretic peptide. So they are actually associated with your sodium. So actually they increase the excretion of your sodium. So 
their ANP and the BN. One is coming from the atria and the other is coming from the ventricle of the your heart. So, and the kidney, kidney release your renin, erythropoietin, calcitriol. What uh, renin is what? Renin is part of your renin angiotensin uh, uh, the system. So, if you look at the erythropoietin, which is the hormone for the erythropoiesis, erythropoiesis, red blood cell formation. And if you look at the calcitriol, is the vitamin D, part of vitamin D by formation, formation by the sunlight or skin. So, and the adipose tissue secretes the leptin and the resistant. So, resistant is not such a word, so, but look at the leptin. Leptin is actually and the and the ghrelin so there are two hormones controlling your appetite or we can say the satiety so leptin lower your appetite l follow the same the letter l so your leptin lower the appetite and and the while the ghrelin is a other hormone which is secreted by your the uh, the tract uh, gut so then that increase the appetite so this decrease the appetite this increase uh, the ghrelin increase the appetite so and if you look digestive tract there are uh, numerous hormone which are, are secreted by the digestive tract so and the thym uh, thymus so here is your thymus so thymus secrete the uh, the thymosin hormone so which control you are actually associated with your immune part immune system is a complete discussion so i am not going to discuss it because they are thymosin associated with your t cell and the uh, t cell and the b cells of the formation so now look at the your the pituitary so pituitary gland we call them the master gland why we call them master gland it control, control all the hormone which is uh, under this uh, tropic type of hormone because the different secretion the target organ actually uh, the three major areas for example your thyroid the adrenal cortex and the gonads so these three target organs are controlled by this this uh, the pituitary so let's look if you look at this is your posterior pituitary and this part is your interior pituitary so let's look at so the prolactin and the oxytocin going to control the breast. So the important thing is that you remember one cause the production of milk, one cause the out or ejection of milk. So follow the P production of milk prolactin. prolactin. So another is your uh, uh, the oxytocin which cause out out or you can say ejection of milk. So when the milk is in the breast, so one cause the production of milk and the other cause the ejection of milk. So, and if you look at the ACTL, it's going to control the adrenal cortex. Medulla is not mentioned, it's not going to control the medulla, only the two layers of actually control the adrenal cortex. We'll look at it later. So, and if you so the MSH which is also secreted here is the you are going to suck in melatonin uh, melanin sorry so which gave the blackish healing uh, to the skin so skin color is disturbed so and if you growth hormone and the ADH which is going to the kidney and regulating your water uh, water absorption and uh, the other is the gonadotropin going to the ovary and the the testicles and the TSH going to the, control the thyroid hormone secretion and the growth hormone, uh, the bone and muscle and your throughout the body. So here is here is your thyroid gland. If you look at here, so you can see here the parathyroid are four parathyroid. Two are the superior, two are the inferior. 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 So these are actually present on the posterior because this is present here so they are on the posterior aspect so it's uh, there is importance uh, so you cannot compensate the, uh, the loss of this parathyroid hormone if you lose this you lose the life so this is uh, uh, the life important parathyroid the other hormone is the calcitonin so 
they are not uh, much important in the uh, homeostasis. Also, they have a role. But if you lose the calcitonin, or they, uh, you cannot uh, for uh, life problem. Later, but parathyroid hormone are the important. So thyroid hormone has two. One is a follicular cell, other is a parafollicular cell. So the follicular cell, if you look at here, so these are the follicular cell. Follicles are here, and in between you see. The, so here is the follicular cell, and this is your. And the here is your thyroid formation, T3 and T4 formation are in between. There are blood vessels and the parafollicular. Parafollicular means parallel to the follicle. So these are actually here is present. So capillaries and the parafollicular are present here. So parafollicular secrete the calcium and your follicular secrete the thyroxine T3 and T4. So and here your Pancreas, pancreas. So you can see here the digestive system is here, the spleen is here. This whole part is the pancreas, but 98% are the your uh, exo uh, exocrine type because they have duct which is going to the, this uh, uh, into the gut. But only these eyelid cell you are saying. So they are only 2%. So they are alpha cell, beta cell, and the delta cell and alpha secrete what glucagon. And uh, the beta secrete the insulin, delta secrete the somatostatin, uh, F cell secrete the polypeptide. Mm -hmm. So there are actually four type of cell are present here. Mm -hmm. So, so here is your kidney, and this is what suprarenal. So actually, in the, in this middle one is the medulla, outer is the cortex. So let's look at. So. So let's look at, so the, here is actually, these are actually layers. So if you see, so these three layers are called and that's the green one, blue one, black one. So and the middle is the medulla. So important thing is the histology of this. So 80% is your, is the cortex and 20% is your medulla actually. So there are three layers. So this green one, which is 15%, so is the Glo zona glomerulosa, zona glomerulosa, and the their function is actually controlling the mineralocorticoid and the aldosterone uh, hormone is. So and this blue one is the which is seventy eight percent zona fasciculata, and the which controls the uh, glucocorticoid and cortisol, and the this black one is the zona reticularis, so which secretes the androgen. And if you look at the medulla, which are 20%, so they are actually catacol amine type. So epinephrine, non-epinephrine, and the dopamine are secreted here. So important thing is to memorize. So easier way, uh, just follow the the these letter G F R G F R. So layers are like G F R. So glomerulosa. Fasciculata and the reticularis, and the, the middle one is the medulla, so which is twenty percent. So another important is to mem memorize the uh, to understand the hormone. So easier way, as you go deeper, you enjoy more. What does it mean? Let's look. Salt, sugar, and sex. Outer is the salt. Middle one is associated with your sugar. Salt means mineralocorticoid, which is associated with your endosterone, and the glu glucocorticoid, sugar, and the Inner one is the androgen, testosterone, estrogen, and which is associated with your sex hormone. So, and the catecholamine, which is uh, they are a main nature hormone. So, these are actually steroid, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen. So, they all are the steroid type, while these are the catecholamine type. So, you can see here, so these are actually three layers. We name them glomerulosa because they look like the glomerulus of your kidney. So, the nephra and the fasciculata, they are fiber like, and the reticulus, they are net like due to appearance of this. And the, and the inner most inner one is the medulla. So, it's taken from here glomerulosa, fasciculata, reticularis, medulla, mineralocorticoid, 
glucocorticoid, androgen, stress hormone, or you can say the sympathetic pathway. So, endocytorone, cortisol, so different hormones are mentioned here, so we will discuss later. So, how to segregate what? Uh, ANP, ANP, and BNP. So, all these what we, which are showing here. So, ANP and BNP. ANP is the atrial natriuretic peptide. Atrial natriuretic peptide. B is the B type natriuretic peptide, and they are cardiac atria ANP. B is from the ventricle. So, and your the lungs, lungs are associated with their uh, the angiotensin converting enzyme, which convert the angiotensin one into angiotensin two. two. So, and here is your placenta, which also secrete the HCG and the and the uh, HCS, the hormone. So they are associated with the pregnancy. So HCG and HCS and the progesterone and estrogen. Progesterone before uh, the after the evolution co controlling the corpus luteum and before the evolution controlled by the estrogen. So and here is the liver we secrete the IGF insulin growth factor which is actually uh, when the under the action effect of the growth hormone when growth hormone affects the liver so they secrete the IGF and your kidney secrete the erythropoietin and the renin from the the gut, gastrin, CCK, and secretin. So, this is what your adipose which is secreting the leptin. So, now come to the last two slides. So, which is summary of the so hypothalamus. So, they secrete your the interior pituitary and the posterior pituitary gland, which is the oxytocin and the anterior. So, they are synthesized in the hypothalamus. Secreted in the uh, stored in the posterior pituitary, and their action is mentioned here: uh, contraction of uterus and the mammary gland cell, and it promote the retention of the water by the kidney. So, and if you look at the anterior pituitary, which is the flat PG, so growth hormone, prolactin, FSH, LH, TSH, ACTH. So, and the thyroid gland. You can see here so the T3 and T4 and the calcitonin. So you can see here the thyroid is thyroxine is the amine nature, while the calcitonin is the peptide, peptide nature. So they are calcium decrease. So they decrease the calcium while the parathormone Indeed. increase the calcium. And the parathyroid hormone, so the lower blood calcium level, they increase the raise the blood. blood calcium level. So important thing is the uh, of today's lecture is major is that one is to understand the uh, to to identify the hormone and other nature is of nature of hormone chemical type so you can see the hormone of your pituitary of hypothalamus they are peptide nature all thing actually your steroid are target target organs for example your adrenal cord and the adrenal hormone so they are testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and so all these are your steroid nature. And these are amine nature, so the thyroxine, the, the hormone of secreted by the medulla, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and the dopamine. Mm -hmm. So here is the mnemonic to memorize the peptide and your uh, the the hormones of your amine nature. So VAP coma represent actually showing the Hormones which are peptide nature. We represent vasopressin, or you can say ADH, and insulin, prolactin, calcitonin, oxytocin, melatonin, and the ACT. So these are actually peptide nature. So their chemical nature is important because when we discuss their mechanism of action, so peptide mechanism is different from the the your steroid or amine nature. So and the dent, D represent what? Dopamine. Yes. E represent epinephrine. Epinephrine. Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine. T represent thyroxine. So these are actually your hormones. So these these are your peptide. These are your amine nature and other are the steroid yes. nature. Yes. So and the hormone of pancreas is the insulin and glucagon. Insulin lower the glucose level. 
ग्लूकोगन इंक्रीज द ग्लूकोज लेवल इंसुलिन सेक्रेटेड बाय बीटा सेल ग्लूकोगन सेक्रेटेड बाय द अल्फा सेल सो एंड एडेनल ग्लैंड एडेनल मेडुला एंड एडेनल कार्टेक्स सो ग्लूको कार्टिकेट में मेडुलो कार्टिकेट सो दे ऑल आर थ्री राइट नेचर सो इफ यू लुक एट द टेस्ट इज ओवर इज गुनेड्स हार्मोन सो दे ऑल आर द so these are steroid type and these are what protein uh, so the insulin and glucagon so these are amino nature so glucagon was not i think mentioned in the vap coma so you can understand insulin glucagon both are your uh, peptide nature and your melatonin which is amino nature so this is actually a uh, summary of all the function and table so in next lecture we will uh, continue the Uh, the other uh, the uh, the receptor and your basic uh, concept regarding the mechanism and then we continue the our other lecture thank you very much